are you staying with us? Because now we're going to watch some things like we're going to do what we usually do here on Critic Box, is just where the gods that be, our producers, send us down some trailers and we don't know what the trailers are. We have no idea, but then we watch them and we react to them. Are you going to stick yeah, around with us? Yes, fun. please. Yeah. Okay. Yay. All right. First trailer up. Ooh, Black Ooh, Tom. Black. Do we now have a candy card? I have but, no idea what this is, and I love that they have a puppy in a motor yes. car. Can I have a motor car? <laughs> right? And look I feel at the like puppy's face. Oh, they run at Tom. A lot of puppies. Oh, okay. I don't know If someone's gonna kill a dog, this is wow. not okay. Oh my god. Guys. I saw last S and we're talking about a dog with rabies. I don't think my heart can. Oh shit. Well, I want to see that. Uh, yeah, that... I can see that. That looks like the I Am Legend if it was just about the dog. Years. You guys are nuts. Yeah. No, it's not the movie ever. It looks a little apocalyptic, right? Which is okay. And, and it looks, uh, I like the music. The music is very kind of more Coney, uh, Sergio Leone. Um, but no, it no, looks. No. My heart can't take it. Just the trailer alone. I'm thinking about putting the dog down because of rabies. Uh, no, I can't. It's I'm well, sure it's great. It was great filmmaking. Just I can't. The reason why they were putting the dog down is okay. So basically, the premise of a film, the film is that there's a bounties that are placed on wild dogs as a part of a larger program to remove unwanted animals in preparation for the 2008 Summer Olympics in Beijing. So it's about the socioeconomic development of the area and uh, the choices that were made by certain people in positions of authority to make the place more hospitable or welcoming to the foreign visitors that they were going to have there at the time. No, I, I didn't get that either. I thought really? it was dystopian too, Sarah. I thought it, or was it you, Rob, who said it was dystopian? Yeah, I didn't get that it was 2008. Yeah, no, I didn't get 2008 at all from that trailer. It um, feels but, like, I'm a dog person. <laughs> so, I know. But, I, but I bet that dystopian sort of treatment, it, it, I mean, it's obviously intentional to say that this is, you know, even today, it's, this is... Oh, fuck. it's how we, they treated people when in Vancouver won the Olympic Games. They rounded everybody up, all the homeless people, to make it look prettier. So, yeah. They, yeah. And I can watch people being speaking, hurt much more than I can hurt, watch dogs being hurt. Speaking with the Paris Olympics going on right now, I mean, that's not really, that there's been no real reports of that coming out in France. But yeah, I mean, cities doll themselves up to look prettier because it's the Olympics. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's, this, it's the G8 summit. It's a major event, you know, and no one really wants to tell the real story of what's happening in their cities and their towns when the whole world is watching. So... But and the Olympics is also the ones that let in a convicted child rapist. Oh my god! People are getting so mad what? about the Algerian boxer, but this Stephen Van Der Vent or something. I put it on the social medias for the film. I was like, why is everybody just now mad about this boxer who's born female? Why wasn't everybody mad about the child rapist being allowed in? He raped a twelve-year-old child, was convicted of it ten years ago, and is now at the Olympics competing for Netherlands or somebody. 
Anyway, yeah, I, mean, I, feel like, up. I feel like soon there's going to be a movie about the inside workings of the Olympics, like what Braun did with um, the inside workings of Fox. Braun mm. and just, I'd watch that movie. You're right. Yeah, me too. Yeah. And I feel like there's going to be one where we're going to we're going to see like how everything went down. You're like, mm hmm. Yeah, while we're loving it from the outside, watching their, you know, opening and closing ceremonies and all the events and stuff, this was the real politics that were going on. I feel like that's being written as we speak. Yeah, I, I, 100%. You know, it's it, called yeah. gold, big five rings, push in, you know what I mean? <laughs> Open the trailer. You hear all, all the backstories about what these athletes go through, especially with coaches. Um, yeah. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Yeah. All the the Olympic programs and from the different countries yeah, I, I, that uh, that block. I think that movie, that trailer. Uh, what I like about it is that it just takes some very human, personal sort of thing. You know, there's you know fundamental sort of thing of of an universal truth of just somebody's love for their dog. Yeah, and then, and then you know, which is sort of what we try to do in our movie, which is sort of universal father daughter narrative, right? Right. Um, and then and then but you're obviously telling a bigger story, which uh, I think is I think it's great. I yeah, I would see that. movie, Which is something that your film does really well, because, yeah, you do catch on to it's basically a daughter, you know, trying to find out more about her father. And, you know, even though she's, she's not with them, the love that's between the two of them. And then there there is. There's allyship. There is LGBTQ community. There's discrimination. And there, there's kind of classism. There's education. There's religious. Like, yeah, it's all tied into that one central plot. Of yeah, and the, he's the of and Charlie's the allegorical father, right? Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. And I think that's exactly what Guan Hu, who is the director of Black Dog, the trailer that we just watched, that was that was his point. He's like. You know, it's a very simple story about a man and his dog. And if you've seen John Wick, you understand a story about a man and his dog. <laughs> but in it, there there is just so much more um, story and plot behind it that, you know, he's trying to get out there using a very simple device. Yeah, 100 percent. Very yeah. relatable. Yes. Device, yeah. De de Sarah, you get it, girl. You oh, know, yeah, she yeah. just, I just, just, I just, down, I'm a, down a cliff. Yeah, that was like the Sarah Lang story. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> she doesn't have rabies. <laughs> She's fine. She's fine. She's, She's totally fine. fine. That was but the craziest part. She's went, like totally you, fine. But you, you went kind of Mad Max. I mean, when I when I saw your post, I was like, sh I, I could, I, I visualized it. Like, I, I saw it like the movie in my head, overcranked, and you going. And you going to grab your dog as you both you hold the dog close to you and you plumb it down. It was it was pure cinema. Sweet you know. You can ask yeah. Darren. Darren saw that cinema. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a little too close in person. 